Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Aqualung Seaflare Pro. Now this is the biggest torch in their range. This boasts 2,800 lumens of bright white light. So it's a very powerful torch, uh, two rechargeable batteries on the inside. Um, so that makes it very practical if you're uh, sort of going away and uh, it means that you don't need to buy a whole bunch of replacement batteries um, because you can just recharge the batteries that come with it. This is a, um, a spotlight as well. So it's focusing all of that light into one specific area. It's not a floodlight, so it's not going to uh, sort of lose all of that um, all of that light, but um, it does have a bit of a corona, so you can use, it's a good like multifunctional torch. Um, yeah, let's see what you actually get inside of the box. Okay, so let's take a closer look and see what you actually get inside of the box. So this is the box, a big old box for a dive torch, um, but it is a big dive torch. So the handy thing for me is that it has all of the torches information on the front. So that makes presenting this video quite easy. Um, so the first thing is 2800 lumens. That's a very powerful torch. Um, that's perfect for sort of anywhere really it's a little bit overpowered just for like your regular night dive um you're going to be blinding a lot of people if you shine in their direction um but in the uk if you need a, a light that's going to cut through the um the kind of the, the the algae or whatever then yeah very very powerful maximum depth of 150 meters plenty uh, that's deeper than i can go so um yeah that's perfectly fine impact resistance if you do drop it it's not going to be much of an issue. Try not to drop it though. Um, 180 minutes or 720 minutes burn time. So 180 minutes at, uh, at full power, 720 at, uh, at its lowest power. Uh, what's 180? That's like two hours. No, two and a half hours, something like that plenty. Um, you can use it on land, which is most impressive, uh, especially with something this powerful. What you'll probably find that this might um, limit itself when it detects that it's out of the water and it starts to get warm. Uh, it might start to dim the beam to uh, to produce less heat. Most dive torches, um, they use the, the water as like a heat sink to uh, to sort of allow the, uh, the heat to dissipate more effect uh, efficiently. Um, but this one, you can use it on land. It's probably got a special chip that uh, that limits it, so it's not going to overheat. Color ID. You can see here we got four different uh, sort of silicone rubber like collars that go around the head of the torch, just so you can personalize it. Um, if you've got more than one, you can know whose is whose. Um, and these also glow in the dark, which is quite cool. If you shine a light on them, uh, they kind of like charge up. So if your torch switches off and you drop it for whatever reason, uh, you'll still be able to see it for a little bit. Um, rechargeable battery. Uh, so this comes with, I imagine, two rechargeable batteries. Uh, I haven't actually looked inside of the box yet, actually, I promise. Um, so yeah, rechargeable batteries and a USB charger. So it will have a cradle so that you can recharge those batteries with a USB port. So like your smartphone or your tablet, um, very convenient. That way you only need one plug socket when you're traveling abroad to color everything up. Um, color kits is just repeating what it's already said. Um, but yeah, on the back of the box, just more information uh, and it shows you everything that's inside of the box, ironically. Um, all of this information is gonna be on our website, simplyscuba.com. So if you wanna know uh, how much it weighs and um, how big it is, then uh, yeah, all those specs will be on the website. So inside of the box, get rid of that sleeve um, and have a look inside of the box itself. So opening it up, we have obligatory book of words, uh, so all the information about all the uh, the other torches in the range in all sorts of different languages. Big, big dive torch itself, but we're going to take a closer look at that in a moment. Um, underneath this bit of cardboard, we have everything that comes with the torch. So two batteries spring loaded those by the way um so these are 5500 milliamp hour 26650 uh rechargeable batteries if you need any uh, sort of replacement or spare batteries uh this is the cradle uh so a recharging cradle so you can recharge both batteries simultaneously uh you plug it into a usb port with the supplied usb cable um so i'm just going to take those out so that I can pop them in the torch later. Um, 
you get a wrist lanyard, but not any old wrist lanyard. This is like a paracord wrist lanyard, which is much nicer compared to uh, a lot of the other just standard wrist lanyards that you just tend to get thrown in the box with your torch. Um, this is like paracord material. I don't think it is paracord, but it's very similar. And, um, and they've got this big old uh, sort of weave on it. So that's gonna be very, very comfortable around your wrist um, and fully adjustable as well. So uh, you can make it very comfortable. Uh, some replacement o-rings, three replacement o-rings to be specific, and these are pre-greased as well. So these um, don't have to be fitted to your dive torch when you first get it. These are replacement o-rings for when those ones start to wear out. And then four big silicone uh, sort of rings. So these go over the head of the torch, just to act as a bit of protection, um, so it doesn't sort of bump into stuff, but also a bit of personalization so your torch stands out. Uh, I'm gonna pop those all back in the box and then we're gonna take a closer look at the torch itself. Okay, so the torch itself is a big torch. Um, there's, there's no two ways about it. Um, as far as like a single hand, this is like sort of lightsaber technology because um, it's, it's pretty big. Um, single LED in the front, so that's powering all of that, uh, what was it, 2800 lumens. Um, single button, so that's how you're going to activate the torch. Around that, there's a little halo, and that will have a small colored LED underneath it. And that's your battery level indicator. So as that starts to change color, a bit like a traffic light it will uh, it'll be green when it's fully powered uh, when your battery starts to go down and it uh, sort of starts to run out it's going to change color and then eventually it's going to go red um, so that you know that ooh, I'm running a bit low on battery the main body uh, most of this torch is uh, anodized aluminium so it's light um, this weighs very little the head itself is probably the heaviest bit um, the batteries aren't in it yet but um, it's certainly sort of front heavy um, but it's corrosion resistant so you don't have to worry about it and uh, it feels very solid as well so um, yeah a good well built torch the handle so this has a sort of rubber silicone like uh, sort of handle to it which gives you a nice amount of grip even if you've got gloves on uh, it's got a good grip to uh, to hold on to and then on the uh, the bottom on the hilt you've got a, a lanyard loop so you can attach that lanyard or clip a bolt snap or whatever it is that you want onto it um otherwise very minimalist details very smart uh opening it up so that i can put the batteries in you just unscrew it uh the head unscrews from the body and we can see the two o-ring seal so these are the ones that need to be changed over if um, if these start to get a little bit ropey then uh, sort of swap those over so whenever you're changing the batteries just make sure they're nice and clean they've got a very thin film of silicone grease not too much because uh, that attracts dirt and uh, sort of hair and stuff but yeah just check them over make sure there's um, they look nice and clean basically. The batteries go in negative first. So pop those both in. And then when I put the, uh, the head back on, see there's a bit of hair, get rid of that. <clears throat> Instead of just putting it on and uh, trying to screw it in, I actually unscrew them first whilst pushing them together until they click. Um, that way I know that they're nice and square and uh, they're gonna screw in nice and easily. You shouldn't meet any resistance. It should just be finger tight to, um, to screw them together. And it switches on. Um, if you do come up with a resistance, it might be that you've cross threaded it. So that's why I like to unscrew it first, make sure that it's uh, sort of set up properly. And then I start to screw it in. Uh, okay, so switching it on, single press of the button is going to illuminate it. And that's very bright. Um, as you can see, it's a fair like spotlight, um, but it does have a Corona, this kind of halo around it. So you can use it to focus on one thing to communicate quite effectively, but it's also illuminating the uh, the whole sort of reef and scene around you. So it's a good like uh, sort of multi-purpose torch, but um, you've got that real focus on one particular area area. Whenever you press the button, that's going to change the power settings. Right now it's on full power. Press the button again, it dials down and then press it again. It goes to low power mode and then press it again. We'll switch it off. If I switch it back on uh, and go to the overhead view, you might be able to see it's quite bright in here, but around that button, you might be able to see a slight green 
uh, sort of tint hue, uh, and that's your battery level indicator, just uh, sort of telling you how much battery is uh, is left inside of that torch. Um, and that's that's it. It's um, it feels very strong, very solid, um, but it is a big torch. Um, yeah, it's uh, the the head itself is uh, is pretty large, and the body is uh, is quite long. So this is something that you probably struggle to fit in a pocket. This is something that you take down with you and you use on that dive, um, and it's really sort of handheld only. So uh, sort of expect to be sort of using this um, for the entire dive if you're using it. And that's the Aqualung Sea Flare Pro Dive Torch, a big powerhouse of a torch, very very powerful. Um, it feels very strong. Um, I like that about it. Uh, it has a lot of power. This is really for like murky waters that you need to pierce through that and really getting seen in the water. Um, just because it has that 2800 lumens doesn't mean that you have to use that all the time. You could use this on low power and just have that really long battery life, um, just kind of looking around. But if you have a need to be seen in the water, you can dial it up to full power. Um, that that's where these kind of really powerful torches kind of come into their own. Um, but yeah, it's it's a powerhouse. It's definitely a very powerful torch. And um, yeah, it's, it's well constructed and it ticks all of the boxes. So if that's what you're in the market for, a really powerful torch, um, check it out. There'll be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link to this torch uh, right down in the description below. Thank you for watching, safe diving.